G'day guys, so in this video we're going to look at shooting copper, lead and bismuth with the 22 Magnum and the 2506. So these are the metals that bullets are typically made of. Normally lead with a copper jacket, but you can get solid lead and solid copper bullets. With bismuth typically being reserved for non-toxic shot, but not in rifles for reasons that we'll see here. So first up is the 22 Magnum into the copper block. And now the 2506. Although it did cartwheel 10 pound block of copper, it's nothing too dramatic. With a 2506 drilling hole about 35 millimeters deep, and the 22 Magnum about 3 or 4 millimeters, so about 10 times less. Now moving on to 10 pounds of lead with the 22 Magnum. And the 2506. And that's almost a work of art. With the 22 Magnum being caught and the copper jacket pedaling back inside the hole, with the 25 caliber blowing a bloody great big hole. And now it's bismuth's turn. Bismuth is a very brittle metal and just shatters to pieces when hit by the 22 Magnum. So that's one of the reasons why it's not used in its pure form in bullets from a rifle. So to sum things up, copper's significantly harder than lead, with the lead going off like a liquid metal terminator, and the bismuth is very brittle, shattering into pieces. Bismuth is quite a strange metal. If you partially cast it and only let part of it harden, you can see its crystalline structure. Anyway, while I've got the bismuth out, we'll have a play with it. It also expands on cooling, which is the reason I couldn't cast bismuth and lead bullets and compare the two, as the bismuth would end up significantly larger than the lead. It repels magnets, and it also does this when in contact with perchloric acid. So, a drop of perchloric acid, and give it a paint with a blowtorch until it gets a brown layer. And then give it a tap. It's interesting because no one actually knows what that is. It's too unstable to analyse. It can't be dissolved in any solvents without decomposition. Anyway, thanks goes to Backyard Scientist for suggesting I try lead and copper, who himself has become famous in the meantime by pouring molten aluminium into a watermelon. Also go check out my mate Teo Flattermouse's channel, who shot three different types of 22 long rifle into a lead block, so you can compare that to the cartridges used in this video. Both links are in the description below.